Greetings from Cambridge, Massachusetts, and behind me the Charles River, whose coursing strength and resilience serves as a reminder of the strength and resilience of the humanitarians we honor through Aurora. While I would much prefer that we celebrate together in New York City today, securing our health and safety is most important, and I know we are all together in spirit. I am a scientist and inventor, and believe deeply in the power of innovation to improve lives. I therefore could not be more proud of the spirit of innovation that has enabled Aurora to accomplish so much for so many in just five years. We have launched or supported 28 projects in nearly a dozen countries, including Sudan, Malawi, DRC, Ethiopia, Brazil, Iraq, and Myanmar. Working together and fueled by the generosity of so many of you, Aurora has changed the lives of nearly one million people. Aurora has also acted quickly to be responsive to evolving and emergency needs. When a huge explosion recently rocked the capital of Lebanon, Aurora donated $200,000 to support the citizens of Beirut and called on the global Armenian community to help. As COVID-19 began to spread across the globe, the Ararat Challenge movement launched by the Aurora Humanitarian Initiative made a $120,000 donation to the Ministry of Health of the Republic of Armenia to buy ventilators and to support local health professionals on the front lines. When it comes to battling a global pandemic, there are many front lines and many frontline heroes. Tonight, we pay tribute to New York City heroes who have fought valiantly to bring health and healing to those battling COVID-19. It is my honor to announce on behalf of the Aurora Humanitarian Initiative that we are donating $100,000 to the Elmhurst Hospital in Queens, New York, to help it struggle against the virus. Scientists are also among the frontline heroes battling the pandemics, and as co-founder and chairman of Moderna Therapeutics, I'm immensely proud of the role scientists in science are playing to bring safe and effective vaccines to market, and also the role Moderna and other flagship pioneering companies will play in protecting us all from future pandemics. The Aurora Humanitarian Initiative has coined the expression gratitude in action as the human spirit that can motivate humanitarian activism and giving. When this pandemic is defeated, we will all have much to be grateful for. And just like those whose lives were saved by our Aurora Prize nominees and laureates, our collective gratitude in action can help others at a time when the world needs it more than ever before. I'm grateful for your fellowship and support and again extend my appreciation and congratulations to the health sector heroes at Elmhurst Hospital in New York. On behalf of all of us, we applaud your bravery and your commitment to your patients. Thank you.